Hello, I'd like to show you the performance of my DDJ1000 uh, tractor map for Mac devices. I develop on Windows. What I'm going to show is only relevant for Mac devices. And in particular, I don't know with the operating system version, but with Catalina, this is definitely a problem. So do not upgrade, please. And uh, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to run, I'm running version 7.2 of my tractor map. And there is situations where the, the LEDs are slowed, slowed down. The needle, all these LEDs, now they are, they are fine. I'll show you in a moment, they're getting slow. The important thing is that this is only the output. You can always control the music. The sound is not affected, the inputs are not affected, so it's just what you see. And the easiest way to confirm if there is a slowdown is to toggle the LEDs. For example, these guys here. Right now I'm running a bomb clock of 80. How do you do it? You press Shift, Memory, and then Turn. The default is 80. Uh, but there is, uh, this is not enough, that's why on the next version that I'm going to release, it's going to have much more, much, much better uh, performance. So let me show you the issue. <clears throat> if you, the simplest way to see the issue is just to double click many times the shift button. Now you see that this guy is getting slow and no longer reacts. If I toggle the LED, it takes seconds to turn on, turn off. Now, these catches up, so now it's fast again. So let me do it again. Notice that the, the sound is not delayed. And now this is slow down. It catches up. Turn off. Turn on again. It's getting faster. Now it's fast. You see? So now I loaded the latest version of the mapping with the improved performance for macOS. So now it's really fast. If you do the same thing as before, this is really fast. There's no comparison to what I just showed you. And um, the clock is now, can go out as low as 15. Before we had to use 80, we discussed this. So it is jumping slightly. So if we do now 10, the minimum, it's butter smooth. Watch. Okay. Something new. Uh, uh, the, the second page, this is the, the hot cues. Nothing special here. A new hot cue. Delete it. On the second page, Get the loop out. The second page, this new, this is new. It's only for deck A, not for deck B. And what happens here is that this is now the new configuration page. So uh, on purpose, if you press the buttons with shift, it doesn't do anything to avoid mistakes and confusion. You have to press both again, press shift and memory and now enable. And this is now, this guy, is the sound card effects, this guy is the, I think, is the, the play pause and so on. The old way to configure is still the same, but this is much, be much better. So lo look at the manual, what the buttons mean. And this guy here at the end is the clock. And now also new, it's now blinking, as you can see. And you just turn and select your value. So right now I can run this at 10. As we, as we discuss, and you can see what is your value, but I now expect you to be able to use much, much, much lower values. This guy here, it's a 2012 Mac, uh, Mac from eight years ago with Catalina, it were fine. And to exit this mode, you do it like this, and you get the VPN back, no blinking, and of course now this is the, the, usual, the usual browser. So I hope that uh, this is useful to you. Uh, pl please, uh, please check this. 
uh, please test this and give me feedback if the, if this solves the problem to you as well. Thank you very much.